Now it's time for us to hit the hospitals to show you what goes on. Today, Zand is on duty in the plaster room. If you break a bone, you'll come here to get it plastered. Plastering broken limbs is a technique that's been used for over 200 years, and this team sees hundreds of patients each week, so they need to work fast. A plaster cast keeps a broken bone in place so that it can heal in the correct position. Jack, I'm Dr Zond. Can you tell me what's happened? I've broken my phone, tripped and it snapped. This bit here. Right in the joint. When you get a cast like Jack, first a sock goes on to stop the cast itching. Then a layer of cotton wool padding. And finally a layer of plaster, which sets super quick into a hard shell. So you're just going to look like, yeah, Jack says yes to this. Now everyone who gets a cast on obviously has to have it taken off. Like Jordan here. Jordan, what did you do? <laughs> Broke my ankle. How'd you do that? I was playing rugby. Love and kisses. <laughs> Looks like it might all have been worth it. To get that cast off requires a saw, but not just any saw. Check this out. What this saw can do is distinguish between hard and soft things. So it can cut through things like wood or plaster cast, but it won't damage anything soft like your skin. Let me show you on your hands. Well, it's amazing. It just tickles. That's because it has a special vibrating blade. So when it's used by an expert, it means your cast can be off quickly and without hurting you. Anyway, time to meet our next patient. Hang on. I recognise that person. What have you done? I broke my leg. What do you think I did? Did you come off your swing? Did you come off your trampoline? Yes. <laughs> Actually, the reason I'm here is because I'm going to get Zond to race Julie and see who can get the cast off quicker. <laughs> On one arm will be specialist orthopaedic practitioner Julie, with 17 years' experience. And on the other arm will be Dr Zond, who's been on the ward for just one day. On your marks, set, go. This ward sees hundreds of patients a week, so the team have to be able to get casts on and off quickly. The question is, is Zand up to the job? Julie's already on the inside. Come on, Zand, what are you doing? A quick snip with the scissors, and I think we have a winner! Somebody is still going, though. No! no. <laughs> Am I winning? Uh, let me think about that. No. Oh, my goodness. Is he ever going to finish? <laughs> yes. About time, too. What was the margin? Judy, you finished in an impressive 51 seconds. Zon, you took just under five minutes. <laughs> if you worked here, which would be ridiculous. Julie would see five times as many people as you. That just goes to show how skilled experts like Julie are. So if you break a bone, you'll be in safe hands, quite literally. Ouch. Medical teams always expect the unexpected. And here's another surprising case. At Alderhay in Liverpool, five-year-old Aidan's got something stuck up his nose. What's up there, Chris? It's something that looks exactly like this. It's a pirate queen. It's off the treasure chest. Pirates? Treasure? I've got to see this. Aiden was at home playing with his Lego. What's he building, Chris? He can build anything he wants, from partying penguins to pillaging pirates, hunting for treasure. But today, he's building a car. Ooh, nice wheels. Then he noticed one of his pirate coins had fallen out of its treasure chest. He was looking for somewhere safe to keep it. So he stuck it up his nose. Ouch! I wonder how they'll get it out. Sucking it. Did he say sucking it? Like yeah. a hoover. Because hoovers get all the dirt out of your house. Huh. Well, that's logical, Chris. Here to help is Sister Catherine Tomlinson. We need to have a look up your nose, okay? You can just 
see. It's, just, it's quite hard to see, actually. I wonder if it's gone up. With the coin barely visible, Sister Catherine needs to take action. Arr, time for some treasure hunting. What we normally do is we close off the nostril that's not got it in, and you just do one sharp blow into his mouth. OK, Mum, your turn. You literally cover his mouth and just blow and then come straight off, OK? One, two, three. <laughs> Something came out. That's all it is. But not the coin. Let's see that again. <laughs> oh, look, snot. Aiden loves it. You're not supposed to snot on Mummy, you know. <laughs> Mum has one last go. Let's have a look then up that nose. Is there any sign of the missing treasure? Very hard to see, Mum. I can't see anything. So I don't think we can get that out at the minute. It just won't budge. What does Aiden think of that? We'll have to stay there forever. No, no. we we'll won't stay there forever. Oh, we hope not. We've made an appointment for him to see the uh, ENT doctors who have specialist equipment. And we'll be able to remove it for him. We might have to chop your nose off. No, you won't. Will Aiden get his treasure back? Find out later. Arr! Earlier, Aidan came into accident and emergency with a pirate coin lodged in his nose. Arr! Gold doubloons, Spanish treasure, pieces of eight. No, no thumb, thumb, thumb. It was just one coin. Hmm. Let's find out what the doctors do next. Yes, in Liverpool, it's time for some treasure hunting to retrieve that buried coin. It happened at home when Aidan was playing with Lego. He can build anything, but today he's building a car. Oh, nice wheels. Then he noticed one of his pirate coins had fallen out of its chest. He was looking for somewhere safe to keep it, so he stuck it up his nose. Ouch! Today, Aidan's hoping to get the treasure out of his nose and back where it belongs. And here to help him do that is Dr Casey Vaughan. Does it, does it still feel like it's up there? Yeah. OK. Time to dig for gold. This might look uncomfortable, but it's important it comes out to prevent infection. So it's coming, we just need to have one more go. You're being really brave. So, one last go. Oh, oh there it is. Shiver me timbers, it's out. Ew, it's all covered in snot, Chris. Of course it is, it's been up his nose. Yeah, everything's all gone, well done. But we're not done yet. I'm going to wash it. Add some water, give it a rub, and it's as good as new. In it goes. Gar! Well done, Aiden. Bye! Bye.